So for this tutorial, we're going to be creating a tail lamp similar to the one on the screen. Let's call this a, a design tail lamp so it's really simplistic, not a lot of draft. I'll, I'll show how it was built. And then we'll use this data and we'll construct this lamp. I know the, the rear backup lamps or the, the stop turn and the um, backup and bezel. Okay, we've got a rear view and kind of a three-quarter view um, and we're just going to be concentrating on this portion of the tail lamp. I'll include this data in case you want to finish it over here, but I'm really going to construct the quarter panel flange around this corner, the blackout around this edge, and the top um, stop lamp and then with the criteria that we have defined and the perimeter surfaces that I'll provide, you should be able to complete the whole lamp. So along with this general design direction and a 3D surface model, we also need some criteria. So we've got some criteria here that I sketched out. And one thing that, that I typically get from a designer, and excuse my sketching, it's not, I'm not a designer. Um, I sketched this out. So it shows where we have a lens with blackout underneath it, and it shows the separate parts and kind of tells me as a class A person, okay, here's the kind of design I want. And then we have some criteria here. So a typical design type construction, you would just take the quarter panel, get a curve, make a flange, so relative to surface or relative to surface normal, we'd get a flange and we'd build our our fillet based on that, we'd offset it, another 90 degree flange over here probably, put a radius in, offset this edge, our blackout distance, 10 millimeters, and call it good. Problem with that is, number one, typically this lamp, when viewed by the customer from up here, will appear to be over flush to this. Flush conditions between two mating parts, typically the lower part appears to be sticking out. Okay, so we don't have that addressed in this typical design. We also don't have any dipole for this side, any dipole for the lens, or a parting line for the lens in a proper construction. What we're going to do is develop a class A type lamp construction where we have a quarter panel dipole, in this case up three degrees in the side view. We need to be five degrees open to that with a 15 millimeter long flange. Then we'll have a two and a half millimeter offset to our um, two shot. When I say two shot, we have a lens here and then a blackout, which is another component. So one shot, two shots to develop this lamp. Then those are fused together. So we have a lens that has its dipole that will be specified and we need to be three degrees open to that, two and a half millimeters thick, and then we'll construct this, this shape. One thing to note here that's that's important, when you do this type of construction and you offset this line 12 to 10 millimeters, that's a lot different at this height of visibility for inside this lens and what you can see in here. If you look at the visibility straight in the rear view, when we stack this up correctly and put on the two millimeter offset where the 10 millimeters is gonna be, as you can see, the black outline is much lower, okay? the proper construction is going to make this look correct and if we use it in down, downstream applications like VRED or visualization software um, this will allow us to have the blackout underneath the lens and show actually what you're going to see as a customer when viewing this because it will be clear glass to this point not blackout way up here at this point okay so a lot of technical things in an under flush condition to make it appear like this radius is always below this Okay, and then inside of this, we will construct a um, back uh, stop lamp, and we've got some minimums in here and some minimum clearances, and then we can develop our stack up and, and kind of see if we're going to have enough room to put all of this information in with our base criteria here. Now, currently, it's kind of not known. Okay, I'm not sure if it's going to fit. I think it'll fit. That can be some of the game. Create this in a section and see if it will fit. We're going to go ahead and just starting making some surface data. Okay, so that now that we have that set up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
begin to make this flange. 